all right welcome back guys so in today's video we're gonna be talking about like how to use this web page builder so i thought that uh, i haven't told you that how we can use and how we can customize the things inside this builder so today i came with this topic and i'm going to explore you like how you can use this builder profit uh, proficiently and how you can customize your web pages so i have three web pages over here like you can see landing page one two three so we're gonna use these three of the pages and also you can like if you want to use it so you can use it from scratch so right now i haven't deployed this app on a server right now so if you like if you drag this web page builder over here so you can see it looks like this and you save it so it's gonna be saved so you can see toaster is coming over here page updated and if you preview this page so you can see the whatever you edited into this builder it's coming on this route and you can see the page looks like this okay so also if you make some changes into this let's suppose you did changes like navbar and you change the color of this so if i would change the color background color so we inside the basic and if i change the background color so you can see background color and if you save it so page updated and if you go on preview so you can see the navbar colors has been changed so whatever we edited over here it's gonna be coming into the preview so i'm going to make you explore the all the things like how you can edit and manage this create these pages and manage all the things into the builder so normally what it does builder like builder read the type of your components and elements so if you see the section is coming over here so already i have like provided a default type into the builder there's a plugin like that plugin defines all the element type like if you have header type of element paragraph type of element or button type of element so you can see the tag is coming on the top of this element button just because of that plugin and which I, I have already assigned there so if you see the nav is coming over there so this nav is also coming from that type so the each and every specific element have their own type that is already defined inside the builder and that's why it is loading over here so if you click on this section so you will see according to that thing the traits are rendering over here just because on the basis of this type like if i click on this button these traits gonna be changed so you can see these trait gone change so there's a coming text type if you want to edit this text so it will gonna be like so you can see the text has been edited so that's the thing also you can do you can change the type like it would be submit button reset button or on normal button also you can change the context like if you want to change the context secondary the button color gonna be changed or if you want to change the context like success it's gonna be changed to success also info warning so there's a thing like you can do size large so button gonna be large default so default means like whatever the style property you have defined so that's gonna be come over here and also you can make this button small so this is the kind of thing that you can do from here also uh, let me make it default mm -hmm, mm -hmm, primary so you can do primary and default okay so you can see this is the come so this is how you can edit the trade so these are the kind of property like attributes of the element that renders over here and these are the style if you are familiar with the css like if you are not technical person and you are trying to use this editor and you want to do such some customizer so what you can do you can just drag the component from here and uh, let me start so let me try this one landing page 3 so you can drag the component here and you can just try to edit these text like you can just click on this text and you can try to edit the text as per whatever you want to edit over here so if you want to type some other text like experts are here and blah 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 so you can do over here and also you want to change the description button text or whatever you want to do so that's all so but just because of responsive thing so this drawer comes into the right so that's why it gets spread so button as button words are breaking otherwise it looks fine into the preview 
so if i save this so and if i preview this so you're gonna see this page gonna be changed and now right now it looks like this okay so also you can see over here so this is so also you can change this text if you are a non-technical user like if you want to just make this you can use some default pages from here and you want to change it and you can just save it and publish it and you can share this url also you can connect with the custom domain so if you click on this setting and you can add the domain over here and it's gonna be connected with the custom domain also what you can do uh, so let's suppose just remove this and let's suppose we are dragging a form over here so right now this form looks like this okay so you can just you can just customize this form like you can change the name or a label or something from here and also you can just like if you want to add an input box over here form group so you can add another input we change this name so just change this label and type something else like what we can do so like we can type phone okay so phone should be capital and phone should be capitals so also you can type the name of this element like this is the email right now and this is coming name so you can change it to sorry control z and just click on this and change this name to phone because when you submit the forms though then data should be passed with that key so this name just what inside the form this name denote the key of this whatever the data inside of this field okay so why that's why we put the name and it is compulsory to put required like if you want to make this field required so you can put this required as well as and also just make these thing required so apart from that if you try to submit that form and this field has not not filled properly so it's gonna show you a pop-up over here like required so let me show you if i save this and preview this and if i try to submit it so you can see please fill out this field okay so that's the thing happen and also just select this form so you need to find like select this form you can like type the method so you can select the method over here state means like success and normal state whenever your form submitted you haven't put any redirect url or action so it's going to show you like uh, your form has been submitted so right now i'm just putting your normal over here also you can put the redirect url like if your form has submitted and success response is 200 after submitting the form so where this uh, page should redirect so that's the thing you can put over here it's gonna be automatically redirect and action me which means like uh, where where the data of this form should go okay so that's the thing happen over here so you can do this also let me let's uh, let me guide you through the uh, basics styling so you can change the background image of so if you click on this okay so you click on this image so you can just get an image from here so right now it is not customizable so we're gonna use the url like something url images and we're gonna select an image address from here like copy image address image link and we're gonna put it over here and add image so you can see and i will change the url so you can see it has been changed if i save this and preview this so you can see the background image is coming like this also you can customize like background image should not repeat left dot it should be center you can change the customized center and also background attachment fixed not fixed local so that's the property you can set and these are the property just uh, like uh, uh, these are the property that is css properties normally if you uh, try it in css that you can see over there so these are the property already comes in CSS. so if you are familiar with css then you can change it properly and you can read and customize it properly because nothing else it's very easy to use this builder and it's very user friendly okay so and also you can uh, like uh, like if you save it and preview it so you can see so this is looks nice and also you can see so let me use this okay and i am changing this section background image so
so background image okay so i'm using this background image so right now you can see the background image has been changed and if i save it preview it so you can see it looks nice right now okay so also you can change the color of this and uh, what we can change so this is also a form input field <laughs> and also let me show you so this you can see the margin you can give the margin margin right top margin bottom left padding top padding left and into the extra properties what you will get text align text align center uh, like right left top and text align center text decoration like none underline or <laughs> like uh, if you select this text and text decoration should be like deletable so this is your show okay and padding padding whatever the padding inside the box you can give the padding like this okay and also border radius like rounded corner of borders so that is called border radius how much border radius you want to give so you can give it over here so you can see this is the border radius given to this cards billing cards so you can see over here and also you can see this form so border radius width width height you can manage from here max width max height minimum width minimum height you can manage position like if you familiar with the position of the element so you can use it from here position absolute static and fixed position and you can assign the position type like top bottom left right from here also you can see the opacity like if i click on this and if you change the opacity so you can see the opacity is getting changed so you can change the box shadow from here like if this is the image and if you want to add a box shadow so you can add a box shadow like this to this element and you can change the shadow type spread blur spread little bit blur position so okay so you can see the box shadow given to this image so that's the how you can do perspective and also you can add the transitions and also you can use the display property over here so right now display flex if I would use display flex so you can see some other properties coming reflex direction justify content and align items so that's the thing you can use it from here okay so also you can use the link properties like inside the link you can put the href tag over here also you can select like select the sections how many sections are there okay and also you can try to select the target like this window in, uh, this link should be open on the same window or in the different window ID and title you can put or also you can uh, use the styling of this link so that's the thing you can do inside into this right side of the element and uh, you can see the media is over here typography you can add a text like if you want to add a text so you can see inserted text over here also you can add the header bootstrap heading so you can drag it and put it into the top so heading you can use okay and let's have a look so you can see this image look like and this page looks like this so whatever you want a property to edit like uh, whatever you we get like inside the image property so right now if you see this is the normal image and this is the image that you want to change the like source of this image so if you click on this so you can see the source of it so if you want to change this image with this so you can see the change image has been changed so also you can undo it from here and redo it from here normally we do control z and control y so that's the thing and also you can select like you can see the border how much each and every element is taking the space so that's the thing you can see from clicking on this element you can delete and you can also clean the canvas from here 
so that's the thing you can do from this and also you can download the code so if you see the, uh, all the html code of this page is rendering over here you can download it into the zip file and also you can add it into the code editor so if you select like i am selecting this section and i'm editing this into this code editor so best product to start with figma and if i would type something else into this and I, if i would click on apply so you can see the random text is coming over here so that's because because i edited it to the code editor so that's the thing you can do and that's how we manage to do the things so it's easy that you can also try with the code editor like you can try your you can edit your code over here and you can just type css for that and you can try start using that so that's the thing also you can do if you are not you are not getting anything inside this like css how to manage the css so that's the thing you can also getting an option to edit the code from here okay so thank you so much guys thank you for watching and i hope you guys understood well that how you can use the editor like editing and all the things so if you get any kind of issue just let me know and also comment it down how you like the video thank you so much thank you for watching meet you in the next video